It's a shame to admit it. But I cried when the city fell. The butch is our greatest enemy.
what he's doing. There was nothing, sir. I heard the place you're looking for was destroyed. I'm sorry. Thanks. But sorry isn't much consolation. I know, son. But I might be able to help you out. I'll get back to you. <laughs> sir. Hmm. <laughs> 
Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Newspaper? You can't call that thing you do a newspaper. You scribble on anything you can find and call yourself a reporter. I'll trade good, solid rations for any stories on the pilgrim calling themselves Aiden. Or any tip on what he actually looks like. Looking for eyewitness accounts. But, you know, <laughs> I'll take less reliable info. Gotta fill out the evening edition. I saw him take a bolt route once with his, um, his, his um, mouth. Uh-huh. Only if I'm desperate enough. Anyone else? I got a story for you. How much you know about inhibitors? I heard the rumors. The superhuman strength, the improved senses. But if it was as good as they say, I wonder why they wouldn't give them to everyone. That's because they kill 95% of people who take them. Come on, everyone knows that's bullshit. Tell that to my wife who died horribly after taking them. She worked for a GRE contractor that helped develop them. She was fascinated by them. Ended up sneaking some out for us. I chickened out and tended to take mine. She died screaming. So sorry to hear, but... What's this got to do with the Pilgrim? I made it my mission to study what makes people survive the injections. And Aiden is one of them. Oh, cut the crap already. What have you seen him do? I heard from a reliable source that he defeated an alpha zombie in the tunnels under Villador with his bare hands. These tunnels don't even exist, you moron. 
I also got it from a PK friend of mine that Ator beat the shit out of him with brass knuckles. The pilgrim didn't even flinch. Go on. Heard at night he was changing into something else. Not infected. Something else. Something more powerful. Some people saw him fly on top of the water tower. They say he sucked the blood out of Jack and Joe. Anyone heard of those two lately? And he's out there. On the case. Last I heard. Now that makes for what I call interesting news. You deserved your rational. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, come on! I still have. Uh, eat, eat his biomarker. Uh, g give me a ration, too. Attacking the canteen now. And, uh, what do they serve What do you want? Halt! Biomarker. Oh, you again. You don't recognize me? Ah, the guy with Matt's orders. Bravo. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Addressing me as corporal. Hard as you work. You'll be promoted sooner than that. Then, in two or three more years, I should make second lieutenant. And then who knows? Captain, major, maybe even colonel. You're dreaming of that star tattoo, huh? Naturally. Until today, I thought our chances against renegades were pretty good. 
now. I'm not so sure. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our camps. For everything they can to arm you, if needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Can I help you? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh. This again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Yeah, I'll take a look. Thanks. Any news about him yet? No, ma'am. We would have told you. Oh, this is unbearable. My poor damn stupid Ator. We're doing our best, ma'am. I think you can go see Matt. He should be in his quarters by now. One would rather enjoy his than take care of that I recognize your uniform. Um, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. Need a message delivered? No, I'm in the market for information, not sending it. And nothing I can do for you. And so I hear. But, uh, and maybe your boss can help me? Our guildmaster? Driscoll? Maybe. I don't know. He has the authority, but you'd have to be a very special case. I don't know about me, but what I'm after is important. You can try to speak to Driscoll, but don't get your hopes up. Story of my life. Where can I find him? In a headquarters, on downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll... <laughs> you can't miss him. That right, sounds good. Thanks a lot. I thought our chances against the Renegades were pretty good. Where the hell are you? Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Knows what he's doing. 
Well, here I am. You said you have information for me? Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? It's personal. Let's leave it at that for now. I understand. That's fine. For now. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part, but what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay, Jack. Hey, so you're, um, you're Aider's wife, right? Yes, and what's it to you? He, um, uh, he gave this to me and wanted you to have it. Who are you? Just a friend. Thank you. It's the least I could do. Matt told me to see you. 
Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay. Let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. I hope that flashlight serves you well. Howdy, soldier. Hey, what's up with the rations these days? They're a new cook or something? Renegades, too. She'd not work on the boat like you and Daddy. Come on, girl. Well, yeah. Thing is, and otherwise, not much going on. Who are you? Dispatcher sent me to check on the status of an order. Yeah, yeah. Fucking PKs think we can just make the stuff up here magically. Just point me to your commander and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, Juan's pretty busy right now. He doesn't have time for you. We'll tell him to find the time. Jack Matt sent me. No one supervises Juan, buddy. Juan is just... Juan. Get with the program. Besides, he ain't here. You want to find him? Ask his assistant where he is. Just remember, you're on supplier turf now. Mind your manners. If it wasn't for us, half of these people would be biter bait. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? 
Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rain is worried about no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Hey, Luan. Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Renegades. Don't want my name ending up in some memorial down in the streets. Get moving. 